for the wonderful marvelous blessings we are going to receive today lord as we surrender this day into your hands lord once again lord we ask you lord to anoint us with your holy spirit so let's gently place our hands on our hearts and as we prepare to receive jesus once again into our homes into our lives let's place all our intentions let's speak to jesus this moment let's tell the lord as bring to mind all those things that we want to surrender to the lord today let's place our hands on, very gently we place our hands on our hearts and we make a small prayer from the very depths of our heart jesus my dearest jesus yes lord i love you i worship i glorify you lord i praise your holy name lord yes jesus you are my healer you are my deliverer you are my redeemer lord heavenly father i praise you i worship i glorify you yes lord holy spirit we worship you we glorify you jesus we lift your holy name thank you lord worship you lord glorify you lord thank you our father thank you all glory and honor to you lord as we praise you we worship and we glorify you lord thank you jesus thank you lord you are the king and king of kings you are the lord of lords yes lord you are the mighty one your name is above all names lord thank you jesus praise you jesus so let's start praising and worship where we are just open your hands keep your hands open before you and start praising and worshiping lifting our hearts lifting our voices hallelujah hallelujah oh la bari shikara la 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 oh yeshu yeshu thank you lord praise you lord we give you all glory and honor jesus we worship we adore you We glorify you Lord we glorify your holy name we lift your holy name Jesus Lord you are the king of kings you are the lord of lords you are our savior you are our healer you are our deliverer Lord Hoshana kala bari shira la 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 Yeshu 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 Thank you Lord praise you Lord worship you Lord glorify you Lord Thank you Lord thank you Lord praise you Jesus Psalm 66:4 All the earth bows down to you they pr- they sing praises to you they sing the praises of your name and here we are to praise God as the psalmist tells from different parts of the world here we are to praise and worship God so let's all raise our hands let's raise our hands wherever we are let's surrender into the hands of the lord thank you lord praise you lord holla barisha la 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 yeshu 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 thank you lord praise you lord all the earth bows down to you they sing praises to you they sing the praises of your name thank you lord praise you lord glorify you lord and let's all kneel down let's all kneel down let's raise our hands as we receive jesus as we humble ourselves and we receive jesus into our midst into our homes into our situation let us praise and worship and glorify god yeshu 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 we have gathered here in jesus name as we worship jesus our king with our hearts of joy let us love and praise the lord praise the father praise the son praise the spirit three in one praise the father praise the son praise the spirit three in one let us come together praise the name of jesus holy people of the earth worship him let us praise together praise the name of jesus 
All you people of the earth worship him. Let's raise our hands and waving our hands to Jesus. Let's all wave our hands. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. All you people of the earth worship Him. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. All you people of the earth worship Him. All you people of the earth worship Him. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let us lift up our both hands and looking to Jesus and pray together. Jesus, Jesus, my Lord and Master, my Lord and Master, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Jesus, Jesus, your name is given from heaven. Your name is given from heaven for my healing, for my healing, deliverance, deliverance and anointing. And anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, with a great hope we have come for this three o'clock adoration and uh, the holy mass and blessing prayers. We have every day testimonies received from different parts of the world except the dead are being raised up all other miracles are being happened in six areas of our life six areas of our difficulties and six areas of our concerns body mind soul family finances and the dominion of the devil and mighty anointing so dear brother sisters Fear not, nothing to be worried because Jesus is alive and he says, I will be lifted up, then I will heal you. John chapter 3 verse 14, I will be lifted up as Moses lifted up the serpent. Moses lifted up a serpent. People who looked at that serpent was healed, all were healed. Now we look to Jesus and as Jesus said, I will heal them when I will be lifted up. So he is lifted up on this altar. Then Jesus said, when I will be lifted up, three times Jesus said, that is about his crucifixion, then his resurrection and his ascension. Now he is lifted up, he is honored, he is here on this altar. The Lord is blessing you right now and healing you. And except dead are being raised up, all other testimonies that we are going to listen today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why we have all these testimonies of major healings and major miracles? It is only because of the promise of the Lord. I will be with you till the end of the world. I will be with you. And I am same yesterday, today and forever. And what I have completed yesterday, I am going to do it right now. And I will continue to do it in future because I am saying, lifting up our hands, praising and thanking God as if we all were with Jesus 2000 years ago. As if we are with Jesus 2000 years ago. Let us praise and thank Him right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you and praise to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And many people gave a testimony that during this hour, three to four, and during the Holy Mass and blessing time, something gone out of our body, something went out of our house, and Jesus just having all these negative spirits under his feet, under his foot of the cross. So we are relieved, we are healed. After having that experience, they don't have any sickness or any problems in the family or sickness in their body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many people have sent that testimony that something leaving their body, something leaving their house, maybe a feeling. But after that, there is no trouble, there is no difficulty. What they have experienced previous days or previous years, that is not there after that experience. In a way, Jesus giving you the deliverance and also powerful anointing and the courage and power and everything is being provided and also wonderful healings which are not being healed by medicine Jesus heals and to people who are listening to the testimonies they are getting up and walking and also being healed 
because this is a time of prayer jesus is actively working in our life in four moments first one adoration second one celebration of the eucharist third proclamation of the word of god and fourth our prayer all these four occasions are being arranged on this altar now the adoration after that proclamation then celebration then our own prayers and we take hours together in our prayer room to be with jesus and to ask for our brothers and sisters all our prayers will be answered when we are with jesus amen, amen. now deliverance takes place all the demons and dominion of the devil will be crushed down and demons are coming out right now it will not go anywhere jesus is there and angels our guardian angels are there bind the man put under the feet of jesus through the knowledge of jesus all the demons will come out hallelujah hallelujah and all the sickness will be healed because jesus cured all the diseases jesus is same yesterday today and forever and also he is baptizing you right now with the fire and the spirit so brothers sisters let us have this healing and deliverance and baptism so offer all your intentions and we begin the divine mercy chaplet for the fulfillment of all these intentions and prayers consecration prayer on page 15 Jesus I consecrate my body soul mind all my intentions family members relatives friends enemies my nation the whole world the universe and everything in it to your eucharistic heart immaculate heart of mary and to the divine mercy ark pray for all page 18 Heavenly Father sprinkle your pure water upon all humanity and creatures through your son Jesus Christ so that all may get a new heart new spirit and new mind kindly write down your commandments and your precepts in this new heart and help them to keep the commandment of love with all sincerity so that we all may have one heart one mind and one spirit in Jesus Christ Heavenly Father Have mercy on all people around the world. Jesus the Savior, baptize everybody with fire and spirit. Holy Spirit, help everybody to lead a life according to the word of God and magisterium of the church. Protection prayer. Jesus, protect me under the shade of your holy cross and hide me inside your precious wounds. Sprinkle your precious blood upon me, all beings and things dear to me. and on my family mother mary cover me all precious to me and my family with your mantle saint michael all apostles saints and martyrs pray for me deliverance prayer in the name of jesus i cast out you the wicked spirit of lust hatred anger fear jealousy pride sickness pain chronic disease and all evil from me to the feet of our lord jesus christ right now you wicked spirits of sickness and all evil have no right over me and i send you to the feet of jesus to be bound there eternally because i am a child of god who is saved and redeemed by the blood of christ i seek the intercession of saint michael the archangel all apostles especially saint peter and saint paul all saints and martyrs especially saint sebastian and saint george my patron saint and the great intercession of the blessed virgin mary let the lord allow me to experience the fullness of his redemption come holy spirit come and fill me with your power deliver me o lord from all spell curse bondage affliction possession dominion trials tribulations and traps of the devil and the demons right now amen opening prayer you have expired jesus but the source of life gush forth for the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world o fount of life unfathomable divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us O blood and water we gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us I trust in you Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen i, I believe, believe in god, god the father, father almighty, almighty creator of, of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord he was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come again to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen raising our hands eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son Our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son Our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ in atonement, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son Our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the world world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one Have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world closing prayer on page 23 eternal god in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen praise the lord praise the lord all glory and honor to jesus for all the healings deliverance and anointing that we received during the divine mercy chaplet is a wonderful prayer that is a reenactment of the suffering of jesus reenactment of the crucifixion of jesus reenactment of his resurrection and his whole ministry through prayers when we celebrate the eucharist we reenact the life and mission of jesus through hymns and prayers and signs and wonders and through the breaking of the bread and consecration of the bread and to the chalice but when we pray the divine mercy chaplet we are offering the same body and blood soul and divinity to the hands of the heavenly father so reenacting the full suffering and mystery of christ and just giving it in the hands of the father so that all our sins be forgiven prayers be answered and demons are to be bound and anointing may take place that is already happened amen, amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah so today's gospel says about deliverance and the exorcism and the power of exorcism that jesus exercised so luke's gospel chapter 11 luke's gospel chapter 11 verses 14 to 26 about bilsebul and also about demons going out and coming back with the sevenfold strength so we need the power of the holy spirit so let us lift up our hands and let us sing together welcome holy spirit when the holy spirit comes evil spirit automatically will be vanished when the light comes the darkness will be dispelled if he just having fear and also having tension because of full of darkness only one remedy bring the light 
lit a small candle all thick darkness will be dispersed in the same way when holy spirit comes even the most powerful demon or lucifer will be bound at the feet of jesus so let us welcome the holy spirit welcome holy spirit we are in your presence fill us with your power live inside of me fill us with your power and fill, live inside of me fill us with your power live inside of me Lifting up our hands, praising and thanking Him. Hallelujah! La ra isho lo, la ra isha la, la la. He la ra isho lo, la ra isha la, la la. La ra isho lo, la ra. Ha ba la ra isho lo, la ra isha la. Ha ba la ra isho lo, la la. Praise the Lord. So during the Divine Mercy Chaplet and looking to Jesus, during that Divine Mercy Chaplet and while looking to Jesus, Ian, a person's name, is healed of all his gastric complaint. and he has lot of acidity and acidity reflux but the lord reveals ian is being healed of his acidity reflux and also lot of uh, acid formation in his stomach that is being healed his acidity is being healed and there are 17 people who have been suffering of the same problems are being healed and also somebody is just upper part of the stomach is being healed right now and the pain and the gastric complaint and also uneasiness in the upper part of the stomach is being healed amen, amen. and uh, sina a person's name and uh, some kind of heaviness inside of the heart is being just vanished that heaviness in the heart is gone amos a person's name and he is completely healed of his arthritis and walking difficulties amen, amen. so when he listen to the word of god the spirit of infirmity will be just leaving your body so now we are going to listen the explanation of luke chapter 11 verses 14 to 26 wonderful message of deliverance being shared by jesus and the jesus is same he is here he is there also wherever you are you may be in africa or in america or in europe or in australia or in asia these are the five continents where the people are being dispersed now it is something like a single parish we all looking to jesus is only a single worshiping center through this online ministry logosvoice.tv and we are looking to jesus and um, i am happy to share this message with each and every one of you why i am happy because when i share this message pass part you will get the power to bind and cast out evil spirit brothers sisters how many of you really want to bind and cast out evil spirit and send to the feet of jesus how many of you really want your desire is going to be fulfilled your desire is going to be fulfilled that's why jesus says in matthew's gospel uh, chapter 15 chapter 15 verses 28 there jesus said your wish is fulfilled your desire is fulfilled and that woman went home with a joyful heart and she found that her daughter was freed from spirit of fever and all her sickness was healed in a distance in the same way far and wide the lord is doing deliverance healing and infilling praise the lord so the first blessing today that you are going to receive getting power getting power to bind and cast out evil spirit that is already given and you are going to recognize it and going to use it hereafter because that is a messianic blessing all those who believe in messiah all those who believe in jesus irrespective of caste creed religion and age going to have that blessing second part of today's blessing if you have something connected with the negative spirits whatever it be negative spirits of sickness infirmity or uh, emotional disturbances or blocks and bondages in your finances or in family or in personal relationship or one after another problems after problems every day you have a struggle is not very normal every day if you have a struggle and with the struggle you are living and eating your bread it is not the plan of god 
and every fight has an end every war has an end and if you have an ongoing war with the evil spirit when are you going to have a good, peaceful life in this world life long war against the evil spirit no you will get a victory also but every day we have a problem but within a split second we get the victory so when we have a struggle believe it is not life long there is life long different different problems but within split second with jesus and with the wonderful charism and a messianic gift you will get a victory and this victory is promised and guaranteed by the mother church in catechism of the catholic church compendium 314 says everyone will get victory over sin sickness satan and death through jesus amen these four big victories are promised so today these two gifts are going to be released when i preach the word of god and when you look to jesus and ask to jesus these two things going to happen first you are going to get real power it is already there you are going to recognize it nothing new is going to be added but something new will be revealed what is there it will be revealed for example genesis chapter 21 verse 19 genesis chapter 21 verse 19 when hagar was in struggle and she was crying and her eyes were filled with the tears she could not see there was a well there was a well full of water she couldn't see she was crying then she heard the voice of god right now you are listening the voice of god not as i preach but god speaks to you that is first thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 what we preach you have received it as god's message as god's word and message from god that you have received it and it is working in you saint paul says and it is working in you believers this message is working in you hallelujah so when hagar got this message from god an angel spoke to her instead of god an angel so on behalf of god angel appeared to her and said hagar why are you crying so genesis chapter 21 verse 19 says why are you crying there is a spring please go there and collect the water the same way what is already existing in us that we are going to have an awareness of it hallelujah so genesis chapter 21 not uh, 31 or 29 19 uh, verse uh, chapter 21 verse 19 says hallelujah thank you jesus so what is there in 21 19 so then god opened her eyes god opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink so you have to collect a blessing right now and give it to your son or daughter this morning when i checked the testimony session i got a testimony from udupi one mother and 10 year old son looking to jesus yesterday they were looking to jesus and there was a lump on the uh, leg of that boy so mother and son placed their hand during the laying on of hand session and to, during that healing prayer they prayed and they looked that lump disappeared praise the lord this happened in udupi and i have that testimony and today morning i got that testimony hallelujah mm-hmm. and also one testimony i got from palakkad in kerala and uh, gladys and to the whole family just looking to jesus and uh, observing and praying through this online service she had been suffering of giddiness and um, problems and spirit of infirmities and weakness for a long time and yesterday when she was looking to jesus something just went out of her body and um, that is called the knowledge of jesus coming to us knowledge of jesus that is second corinthians second corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 second corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 the knowledge of jesus is something like a seed fragrance that is coming to you then all the demons will come out as it happened in the book of tobit and demons uh, coming out and being bound at the feet of jesus it will not go anywhere so something is going out and being bound at the feet of jesus thereafter she has no lamb no giddiness no problems no sorrows and a different person is being formed within split second 
the same way a different person is being formed in you because we all are we all are created in the likeness and image of god and that is hidden but when we listen to the voice of god when we listen to the word of god when we know jesus christ and his power it all will be revealed to us so two revelations going to happen in our life two gifts are going to be shared with you right now gift of binding and casting out evil spirit and also i teach you how to do that prayer so that you have to be set yourself free from the dominion of the devil and also really you are going to be delivered today because deliverance belongs to the lord and surely he will deliver you deliverance belongs to the lord and surely he will deliver you hallelujah so second corinthians chapter 2:14 says we thank the lord for always always because god leading us god is always leading us in triumphal procession from victory to victory from triumph to triumph so all our trials will be turned into triumph and all our test will be turned into testimony and all our curses will be turned into a blessing all sorrows will be turned into joy that is the power of jesus so when we know jesus and his power demons will come out and he will lead us from victory to victory and uh, through us spreads in every place in five continents right now the fragrance that comes from knowing him praise the lord so now a fragrance is being made in your house and you are surrounded by a fragrance so all the demons are going to be out suddenly archangel angels all with jesus and especially your guardian angel binding the spirit and putting under the feet of jesus so today day of deliverance wonderful deliverance will happen if your finances are blocked family having lot of bondages children are in bondage and nothing is good in your life one after another sickness sorrows after sorrows tears after tears tragedy after tragedy all your tragedies today are going to become comedy because god's plan in your life in my life is welfare wellness that is jeremiah 29 11 welfare wellness is a plan of god so what who is standing against your welfare and wellness God's plan is welfare wellness where is it who is standing against it today's gospel says about that enemy <coughs> today's gospel says about that enemy what jesus said your enemy is very powerful not most powerful jesus said very powerful your enemy your enemy is most powerful and jeremiah 29:11 is not going to happen why it is so because of the enemy the strongest the stronger one is there and the strongest has to come to conquer him so today's gospel please take today's gospel chapter 11 luke chapter 11 verse 23 jesus said when a stronger one coming the strong one is just binding you guarding you putting you in bondage but the stronger one that is jesus when he comes so whoever is not with me he is against me and whoever does not gather with me scatters and verse 22 says luke 11 22 there we read when one stronger than he attacks him and overpowers him he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his plunder so who is this one this stronger one and to the stronger one and the strongest one is Jesus Christ but who is the strong one guarding the house so verse 21 says look 11 21 says so a strong man a strong man that is devil fully armed guards his castle his property is safe so someone just captivated the world and the humanity and having problems after problems that we all know that is devil is lucifer or beelzebul and as some people accused to jesus jesus using the power of beelzebul and casting out minor demons then jesus said if i cast out demons by the finger of god by the power of god kingdom of god has come kingdom of the devil is destroyed but your children when they do 
profane exorcism or exorcism, what power they are using it? God's power or devil's power? So they will be your judge, as Jesus said. So the strong man is going to be bound by the stronger man, that is Jesus Christ. Then what will happen? His plunder will be, or whatever the devil already robbed from you and from me, that will be restored. Amen. That's why one part of our healing prayer is restoration. There are six areas where we have some problems and difficulties. And the sixth area is damage happened through bondage or through devil and Jesus is going to restore it. That is the work of Jesus, restoration. So Jesus heals in six areas of life and Jesus delivers us from the dominion of the devil and demons in all our faculties and giving us weapons of the Holy Spirit. That is anointing. So you are getting weapons and his weapon or the weapon of the devil going to be robbed and that is going to be destroyed. That's why Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 says, When Jesus died on the cross, he unarmed the devil and demons. There is no weapon in his hand. Now, three persons are being healed of their urinary incontinence and also urinary infection. Geraldine and Alvin and uh, Immaculate, you are healed of something connected with the bladder, kidney and urine. Amen. Hallelujah. And Rakesh, the Lord has blessed you right now and healed your kidney complaints. Thank you, Jesus. And um, um, uh, Lisa and Amit, you are being healed of your psoriasis and skin complaints. Thank you, Jesus. So today, the Lord is going to give you two blessings and receive it and ask to Jesus. You have to wish it, you have to desire it, and you have to have a faith in it. Faith in the power of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, Jesus said, don't accuse me. Jesus said, don't accuse me. I am using the power of the evil one. I am using the power of the Holy Spirit. So, Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11, verse 19. Jesus was accused of the using of the power of the Beelzebul. Beelzebul is another name of Lucifer. So, now I cast out demons by Beelzebul. By whom? Do you are exorcist, cast them out. Therefore, they will be your judges. Verse 20 says, If I cast out demons by the power of the Holy Spirit, that, that's why we start this session with inviting the Holy Spirit. We all sung to the welcome Holy Spirit. So, if I use the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of God, the finger of God, that is the Holy Spirit, that I cast out demons, kingdom of God has come to you. Yes, one kingdom is being destroyed by Jesus and all those who believe in Jesus, irrespective of caste, creed, religion, black magic will not work against them. Many will do the black magic, but within split second, you will overcome it. And if you don't believe in Jesus, it will work in you. So, Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 says, You are already transported from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. You are already transported. So, Colossians chapter 1 13 says, He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son. Praise the Lord. Because, verse 14 says, In him, in Jesus Christ, we have forgiveness of sins and redemption. Redemption means healing, forgiveness of sins, and freedom from dominion of the devil. We are redeemed from the hands of the devil, from the slavery of devil. And forgiveness of all our sins, because Jesus died for our sins. Even though we are not doing anything, but only take a decision to be the doer of the word of God, your sins are also forgiven. Consequences of sins are forgiven. Consequences of the ancestral sins are cancelled because of one decision to be the doer of the word of God. The merit of Jesus will be shared by all who have this decision to be the doer of the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. And today's gospel says and is concluding that somebody cast out demons without saying, I bind you. It will go out somewhere else. Then that person will be very happy. If you say, only just saying, I cast you out, wicked spirits. It all will go out immediately. Because you, you are the right person to cast out. Because you are being afflicted. Self-protection is your fundamental right. After coming back, that devil coming back, 
seeing that you are very happy and you are in order so it will go out and collect seven more uh, stronger evil spirits coming back with the sevenfold strength then jesus said and enter and leave there and the last state of that person is worse than the first so please take your page to uh, verse 26 look 1126 1126 a worse situation going to happen some people say oh after the deliverance ministry father i did a deliverance ministry and i have leg pain headache vomiting sensation and um, horrible dreams people who did deliverance ministry having this complaint one mistake might have happened there didn't use the name of jesus or forgot to use it and binding that word might not used it and cast them out and didn't give a command also to be there till second coming of jesus so all the demons and negative spirits be bound at the feet of jesus otherwise it will come back with the sevenfold strength so it goes out and brings seven other spirits more evil than itself and they enter and live there and the last state of that person is worse than the first so today your condition is going to be improved and you are going to be blessed and filled with the joy and peace now you take the prayer book page number page number 103 in this prayer book six verses that i use with the permission of the church and with the imprimatur from the bishop this prayer is being used and you can you are also free to use it whoever it be pastors priest lay persons and whoever believes in christ jesus can use this prayer so we have to use that use this formula i bind you wicked spirit whatever it be and i bind you and cast you out and put you under the feet of jesus be there till the second coming of our lord jesus may do justice to you to release you later or keep you there until his second coming that is the work of jesus not our work after that we have to pray one divine mercy chaplet it will not come back as it is written in luke 11 26 one spirit came back with the sevenfold strength with the seven other spirits and the case became worse but that will not happen to you or to me because we know how to do what to do in the name of jesus so today receive this gift right now gift of binding and casting out evil spirit and take this prayer and use it at the end please pray one divine mercy chaplet that will be the reenactment of the full mission of jesus full suffering of jesus being reenacted and um, given in the hands of the heavenly father as a remedy of all problems that is the power of the divine mercy chaplet today your houses are set free families are set free children are set free if children are addicted to gambling or um, mobile addictions or illegal relationship or unholy relationship you can set them free by binding and casting out power and that uh, grace but you need that real power so jesus is sharing that power with you in the name of jesus i pray receive this power right now receive it that is your birthright in christ jesus and receive this messianic gift binding and casting out evil spirit in the name of jesus i bind and cast out all negative spirits from you and from your concerned people and send to the feet of jesus let them be there till the second coming of our lord amen and if you want to have more readings about origin of lucifer and demons catechism of the catholic church compendium 74 article 74 gives the definition of the origin of lucifer origin of satan and demons or devil and demons and their work and um, mother church says devil or demons are not concepts not the sum totality of all evil in this world as some people think it is only an idea it is only a concept it is only a conceptual being it is moving like around the world according to the concept of the people they are not persons it's only a force but church clearly defined it in 2000 in catechism book article 2851 and 
devil demons are persons having intellect emotions memory and also no body no body no physical body they are persons having memory and uh, having intellect and deliberations and logical thinking and also they have power to do sometimes good sometimes bad but always with a bad intention even though they do something good there is a bad intention behind it to captivate you in bondage life long or take you to hell that is his inner motivation of doing good so he is not good and he cannot do good so more readings that you will get and finally jesus going to come in this world and these demons who are defeated who are cast out but wandering here and there because there are many people in this world this is a tragedy many people wanted to have a demons in this world knowingly or unknowingly <coughs> or maybe because of ignorance want to have a dominion of the devil that's why they are just lingering here and there and troubling us but all people say unanimously we don't want you wicked spirits go and be bound at the feet of jesus the whole humanity we saved and the whole world will become like paradise praise the lord thank you jesus so today's gospel teaching is very clear from the part of jesus that jesus used this power of binding and casting out evil spirit he conquered even in the strong man and destroyed his armaments and distributed all that blessings that he destroyed or they destroyed and restored it and he has shared jesus has shared this same power with us that is mark chapter 16 17 same power is being shared with you and with me now i have to use it as peter used to the power peter used to the power i i ask you get up and walk if peter didn't say that he will not walk and he would not walk but he walked by faith peter used to that word used to that power so use the power hereafter you will be very successful from one i want testimony from uk and um, they forested when the um, deliverance prayer was going on one lady was just having manifestations but these manifestations don't worry about it guardian angel is there and knowledge of jesus is there and within split, split second these manifestations will be subsided and she had a lot of manifestations we are going to listen that testimony now and um, within few seconds everything was normal and she used to hear voices in the house and could not sleep and so many other tragedies thereafter nothing is there now i think this happened uh, day before yesterday or um, last month so let us uh, listen these testimonies now and when you listen uh, to these testimonies the same power or same grace is given to you and also today two gifts are being imparted first one you have received this gift please recognize it and use it you you will be successful and use this format also and if exorcism is needed that the priest will do it by your request and by the permission of the diocesan ordinary and also you are going to be set free today not only you are going to set free others but you are going to be set free yourself are going to be set free and you will set others free these are the two gifts already given to you receive it with a thanksgiving heart now listen the testimonies This one is received on the 8th and 9th of October. Louis Antau from Goa testifies of his hearing problem which is healed and the cyst has vanished. He says both my ears were infected and hurting severely for 6 months. I was not able to hear properly. After attending Logos online adoration and mass from July till date, I am completely healed. I can now hear well and the pain has vanished. My wife had a cyst on her body which melted away after applying the holy oil. She is also healed of her sleeplessness. Praise the Lord. Kuku from Kerala testifies about her electric wheelchair which started to work. 
She says, I have an electric wheelchair which is from USA and it stopped working and it also affects my daily routines. It is from USA, so no company offers maintenance for it. We prayed and used holy water. After two days, I simply pressed the button and it started working again. Praise the Lord. Emerald Masquerinus testifies, she's from Mumbai, that she's healed from migraine headache. On the 6th of October evening, after three months, she started getting migraine headache. Immediately, she says she put a little salt, which was blessed online, in her mouth, and she prayed and rebuked the pain, and she was healed instantly. Praise the Lord. Shweta from Bangalore testifies for her cousin, who is blessed with a good life partner. She says, all our family members were praying and trying for a long time to find a good match for my cousin brother, Marlin, for his marriage. After attending the online prayers, within a week, he was blessed with, a, with an alliance from a good family and they got engaged on the 29th of September. His marriage is fixed for the 15th of Jan. Emmy Lobo from Mumbai testifies of her husband who's healed of gastritis. For nearly four years, she says my husband Ronald Lobo was suffering from severe gas problem and was taking treatment, but it was of no use. I was praying for him every day while I was attending the Logos online adoration and healing service. In the month of September, when the adoration was going on, Father Joe called out his name saying, Ronald, God is healing you, and I claimed it for my husband. Now his gastritis has been healed. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Boniface from Bangalore testifies of a healing from cervical spondylitis. I have been suffering from cervical spondylitis for over 15 years, thereby affecting my quality of life. She, he says, my wife has been watching the Logos Adoration, Holy Mass and healing services. Father Jose mentioned that he has been healed. To my pleasant surprise, I found the discomfort in my neck had also vanished and I can sleep comfortably in any posture. Praise the Lord. Marina Morais from Singapore testifies of being blessed with a good job. Oh, that's for her son-in-law. I have been praying for my son and daughter-in-law to get their consultant jobs in their respective speci specialization in the UK. For nine days, my daughter-in-law was putting this intention in the chat box. And on the ninth day, she had the interview and got the job. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Cheryl B. Fernandez testifies... My son is gifted with speaking skills. My two years, two year and eight month old son was cured of his blister in his mouth when father announced a child is being healed of a blister in his mouth. Before that, he was not even able to eat food properly, but after the announcement, he stopped complaining. He was not able to speak or communicate well. After I requested for prayers and for healing, he started speaking well. And also we got a new business assignment. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Susan Fernandez from Goa testifies of being healed from fever and vertigo. Father Jose announced, Susan, Jesus healed all your pains in the body. Cough, cold, fever have been healed. Many people having vertigo have been healed. And she says, I claimed it immediately. From that very moment, I feel relieved and all my body pain, cough, cold and vertigo have disappeared. Praise the Lord. Cedric from Kuwait testifies of being healed of asthma problem. I was suffering from asthma and I was using the inhaler and was attending the online adoration. When Father Jose announced somebody using the inhaler is getting healed, I claimed it for myself. At that moment, I could breathe freely. Now I am healed. Praise the Lord. Annie from Mumbai testifies for her daughter's baby. The scan report came normal. She says, my daughter's baby's movements were abnormal. The minute my daughter informed me about the problem, I just started saying the Mama Mary chaplet and was on, on, on the online services. After the online prayers, they did the scan and the second scan showed the baby's movements were normal. That's a miracle. Praise the Lord. Lyra de Souza testifies for a mother who, who is healed from some gynec problems. She says, my mother is 70 years old and suddenly she started having bleeding. Last month onward, she started attending the Logos prayer service and she prayed during the adoration. Now she's healed. Praise the Lord. Virgilia Fernandez 
testifies for Santiago who has received healing in his brain and the gift of prophecy. Father Joe has called out his name and said, Santiago, the Lord is calling you by name and giving you gifts such as peace and joy. And the Lord has healed you from some sickness in your brain. I claim this healing with faith and thank the Lord as he is now experiencing the fruit of this prophecy and also being healed from his sickness. Praise the Lord. Gisela Godino from Goa testifies of healing from dust allergy through the online prayers. She says, I was very allergic to dust but noticed that this time we did a lot of dusting and cleaning of our house but I was not affected and I did not have any breathlessness. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Teresa Menezes tests for Mukund who was healed from a stroke. She had sent a prayer request to Father Jose for 28-year-old Mukund who suffered a stroke. He got married he is to get married in December. Now he is discharged from the hospital due to the online prayers. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Margaret Gomes from Goa testifies for the mother who has received good appetite and the sense of taste. She says, my mother, Santana Lopez, who had no appetite, had lost the sense of taste of, for two years. We started attending the Logos Adoration regularly till date. And Father Jose announced, somebody who doesn't feel the taste of food to eat is getting back the taste of food and is being healed. At that, I claimed the healing for my mother and today she is happily enjoying the food and is healed and having no health complaints. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lydia Dias from UK testifies for having received deliverance from evil attacks. On the 2nd of October, she says, I was kneeling and praying during the deliverance prayer. Suddenly, I started screaming and my body started shaking. I got deliverance from fear and also at night, I used to hear noises in the house. Now, there is no such problem and Jesus has freed me from all evil powers. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Joanna de Souza testifies of a lump that is dissolved and she has regained good health. I'm experiencing healing and, and also the prolonged lump in the breast got dissolved after the healing prayers. Father Joe called my name saying, Joanna, you are healed of your tiredness and you will be energetic. I have lost a lot of weight and was feeling weak and tired. Now I am healed and regained good health by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Jasmine Fernandez from Kuwait testifies for Mevin, who is blessed with a good job. She says, my cousin Mevin, who has been blessed with a job after three years of long waiting, I used to put a prayer request in the chat box each day and when Father Joseph announced 280 people are getting jobs, I claimed it for my cousin and it's a miracle he has got an appointment letter now. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Emilia de Souza testifies uh, being healed from long-term giddiness. Father Joseph called my name saying, Emilia, you are healed of your giddiness. I claim the healing and now no more giddiness. I'm healed. Praise the Lord. Dubey Margaret from Africa testifies of being blessed with a permanent job. I was praying for a steady and better job. God blessed me with a very good permanent job. Also, my construction-related issues have been sorted out. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Marianne Ribello is healed from COVID-19. She says, I was admitted in the ICU in a very critical condition and was near death. Through the online prayers, miraculously, I am fully recovered and back to normal life. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Regina from Maharashtra testifies of pain and lump and cramps being healed. I regularly attend the 3 o'clock adoration on Logos TV. I had unbearable pain in my neck and hand and cramps in my head and was unable to move my hands. I applied oil, blessed by Father Jose, and within a few minutes the pain disappeared and even the lump had vanished. What a miracle it is. Praise the Lord. Nita Costa from Goa testifies of being healed from chronic asthma. I've been healed from chronic asthma and cold and also getting good sleep at night now after watching Logos Live Adoration online every day. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Valina from Goa testifies of having had a normal delivery. The doctor was very sure that I would have to undergo a C-section, but I prayed through the online service for a normal delivery. I had a normal delivery and a safe delivery of a baby girl, and my doctor himself was very surprised. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shaman Jesudas testifies of being immensely blessed. She says, after a regular participation in the online service, my chronic eczema which was spreading got completely healed. Praise the Lord. 
Molly Joseph testifies for her brother who is blessed with a good job in Australia. She says, my brother John Joseph, working in Australia for Qantas Airlines, suddenly lost his job. I have been attending the 3 p.m. online prayer regularly and my brother was trying his best for a job but didn't succeed. I humbly beseech the Lord to bless him with a job. And after a few weeks, we got a call saying he got a good job and he's very happy with it. Praise the Lord. Doris Ribello testifies of being healing, of having been healed. She says, for more than two months, I couldn't get up from the bed and while I was listening to the testimonies, the boils on my body disappeared. When Father Jose announced back pain and muscle pain are being healed, today, miraculously, after two months, I am able to move and do the house chores by myself. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Nelson Pereira from Kuwait uh, testifies for his daughter in law, Annette Noel, who is blessed with a good job. Annette was jobless for a long time. I started to watch the TV from last August onward. I sent a prayer request on chat box for Annette to get a good job. After the online prayers, she was called for an interview and immediately they told her to join from tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Marina de Souza, 75 years old from Bombay, testifies healed from knee pain and able to walk now. Due to the adoration, Father Jose took her name and said, Isabel, you are healed of your knee pain. Now I can stand and walk without any support and there's no pain at all. It's a miracle. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Fiona Fernandez from Goa testifies of healing from vertigo and migraine. She says, I attend the online Logos retreat daily and I'm writing to you today to testify that God Almighty has healed me from my sickness, vertigo and migraine. I was suffering from this sickness for the last 25 years. Today, while attending the retreat, Father called out my name saying, Fiona, you are healed. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Laura Vaz from Kuwait testifies of healing of swollen feet and lower back pain. She says, my feet used to swell like balloons whenever I used to eat food and I used to be tensed up looking at them. After praying for the last 15 days, there is no swelling on my feet. Also, my severe pain in my lower back has subsided. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mari Silvera from Goa testifies of healing from chronic diabetes, arthritis and release of the pension after attending the Logos online prayers. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Gloria Suarez from UK testifies of her prayer was answered by Jesus. She says, my index finger got healed. I had asked my husband to buy me a necklace as his brother was getting married on the 10th of October and he ignored it at that very moment. I heard Father Joe saying, ask Jesus, ask in Jesus' name. And I said loudly, Jesus, I need a necklace. In the evening at 4 o'clock, my husband said, let's go buy the necklace and he bought it for me. And truly I believe, ask in Jesus' name and you shall receive it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Priscilla from UK says, I'm able to walk without a walking aid. I had a fracture in my right midfoot and I was using a walking aid. I started listening to Logo's uh, online service every day and I also sent a prayer request to Father Joe's through the chat box. During the healing service, Father Joe said, all bone problems are healed. I went for my appointment today and I was told by my doctor that I can walk without any aid. I walked today and there's no pain. Also, my relative Eva had a cyst in her womb. I was praying for her and put a prayer request in the chat box. Today when I rang her up, she says she had a scan and there's no cyst. What a miracle it is. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Philip Fernandez from Mumbai testifies of being healed from breathlessness and urine incontinence. Father Joe called out my name and said, Philip, you are healed of wheezing and lung infection. I'm healed of the breathlessness. Also, I'm healed of frequent urination during night. And now I get good sleep after attending the Logos online service daily. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we love you, Jesus. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. So all these people who have sent their petitions had no chance to be healed. Then they used to take medicine and uh, consolation, but never they were healed. But come to Jesus, looking to Jesus, asking to him directly, getting wonderful, graceful healing touch from Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And also, there are scientific remedies for uh, our problems. But when the scientific remedy is over and there is no chance, there is no method available, applicable for a remedy. But Jesus comes to our life through our request. That issue is being solved beyond of a scientific explanation because there is no scientific method available to solve that particular issue. But Jesus comes and he solves and he helps. It vanishes because Jesus took it into his body and we are set free. That is Matthew chapter 8 verse 16. He took our infirmities, our sickness, our problems. And also he gives us weapons, he gives us power, and he gives us instruments to do better work in this world. Right now, I request you, transfuse your hands on your chest. Or place your hand where you have a sickness. The body is going to be healed because that is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is not the restaurant or the workshop or the eatery of bacteria, fungus, virus, and rust house of the devil. Bible says your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. It is holy. It should be healthy. It should be holy. In the name of Jesus, I pray over all your bodily diseases. Let it be healed right now. Be freed from your infirmities by the wounds of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's lump in the throat is being disappeared right now. And also somebody's lump and tumor inside the nostrils being disappeared and being dissolved right now. Miraculous healings taking place in five continents. Now people are looking to Jesus from five continents. The whole world is like a single parish. And looking to Jesus. This is the wish of Jesus. My house shall be called the prayer house for all nations. Mark 11, 17. My house, the entire world, is known as prayer house for the Almighty God. For all nations, my house shall be called the prayer house for nations. That is being fulfilled right now. All nations looking to Jesus and being under one roof, roof of the Heavenly Father. Amen. Right now, your sickness are being healed. Lift up your hands if you have a particular issue in your emotions or in your mind or in your soul or in a family or in your finances or business or some kind of unexplainable problems and difficulties in your life due to some dark forces or uh, some foreign influence. The Lord is setting you free right now. And also pray for anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out negative spirits from you right now. The Lord may sprinkle his precious blood upon you and set you free from the dominion of the evil one. Place your hand above your head in the form of an arch. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit right now. Receive the messianic gifts. Receive the Isaiah gifts right now. All charismatic gifts and receive motivation gifts right now and multiply it the lord may give you and empower you with ministry gifts to continue the ministry of jesus in this world receive the holy spirit right now somebody's damaged heart only 30 35 percentage only working the lord says you are receiving a new heart right now because the spirit is moving over you right now so you have received a new heart Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody's lung collapsed and it's not working well and you are under a ventilator and um, you are in need of a breathing mission. But the Lord says, I breathe upon you. You breathe normally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you may kneel down and receive the final blessing and Jesus blessing you right now. His blessing is going around the world. Five continents are being, being blessed right now by Jesus. And the healing power of Jesus just moving around the world. Delivering power of Jesus just being surrounded where you are. And also the anointing of Jesus. Sending of the Holy Spirit in all areas of your life is so powerful. And Jesus just sending his power upon you. 
as jesus said receive the power from above until you receive the power remain in the place where you are and now you are going to celebrate the eucharist remain where you are you are going to be empowered as jesus promised he will not give a bad promise or a false promise and he would not give and never given such kind of promise from jesus jesus always keeping his promises but we have to be loyal to him love him listen him be the door of the word of god and also always asking to him and give a testimony of his blessings that we receive amen, amen. lifting up our hands praising and thanking him and receive the final blessing let us say o oh sacrament most holy let us pray o oh sacrament most holy o oh sacrament most holy o oh sacrament divine all, all praise and all thanks giving be every moment thine o oh sacrament most holy o oh sacrament divine all praise and all thanks giving be every moment thine o oh sacrament most holy o oh sacrament divine all praise and all thanks giving be every moment thine hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you thank you jesus thank you lord Jesus praise Thank you Lord praise, praise you Lord worship Lord Thank you Lord glorify you Lord glorify you Lord praise Thank you Jesus praise you Jesus Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries and we have a number of intentions received from different parts of the world and uh, we all look to jesus and look to this sanctuary jesus is being offered on this altar and our prayers are being answered in the name of jesus i pray over these special intentions of the people who have sent their petitions today lord have mercy on them and heal all their diseases solve all their problems touch them now and bless their intentions all these special intentions of these brothers sisters be answered let them be filled with the holy spirit let them be freed from the dominion of evil one let their eternal life be guaranteed by the blood of jesus and through their faith in jesus name i pray over them amen lord have mercy on these people who offer thanksgiving mass and thanksgiving prayers we also thank the lord for favors received let their prayers be answered prayer intentions be fulfilled let their assisting blessing be multiplied as jesus multiplied the bread and the fish how mercy on them lord we thank the lord together with these families persons and brothers and sisters for favors received by them let them glorify the lord throughout their life amen lord we pray over these people who celebrate their birthdays touch them bless them every person is a blessing to this world give them lord your choice is blessing upon them let these children be blessed let these persons be blessed brothers and sisters even uh, senior citizens above 83 years old celebrating birthday today or uh, all senior citizens who have their birthday today let all of them be blessed right now in jesus name i pray over children brothers sisters How mercy on the Lord and to just shower your choices blessing upon them Lord let them become a blessing to this world and to this nation and to the nation where they belong to and also all those who bless them may receive a blessing from Jesus let them become a source of blessing for their family and to the entire world amen now we have our anniversary mass Lord bless these couples who celebrate their wedding anniversary today let their assisting partner become the best partner let their children and grandchildren be blessed how mercy on all couples around the world let them share one heart one mind one spirit one god on worship how mercy on these families lord let their family become part of heaven on earth let it become domestic church from generation to generation this blessing remain upon them this sacramental blessing that they have received during the time of their marriage be reenacted today during the celebration of this mass in jesus name amen 
Now we pray for salvation of departed souls from our family tree. Jesus, have mercy on these souls departed. Have mercy on them, Lord. Forgive their sins. Sanctify them. If they are already in heaven, let there be a great joy in heaven. As in Luke chapter 15, verse 7. If they are under purification, Lord, make it short. Sanctify them. Grant them eternal life. Let the eternal light shine upon them right now. And all families and brothers, sisters who remember them and offer this mass for them, be received wonderful blessings. Let them receive powerful anointing from the Lord. Let this act of charity be remunerative at the right time. Amen. Now, we remember all the intentions we received through various means of communication to Logos Retreat Center and also all those who placed intentions in the chat box. Let them receive graceful answers from the Lord. And all those who are online right now are now going to be online at any time or a convenient time. Then and there the Lord may bless you and receive a blessing from the Lord. Right now all those who are online receive blessing right now. Be healed of your diseases. Be anointed with the power of the Lord. And the Lord may set you free from all dominions of the foreign powers, negative spirits. The Lord may fill you with the power and joy, grace and peace. Let us stand up and sing together Yandran song. Singing to the Lord every day is all I need, my heart's desire. Praising the Lord all my life is all the Lord desires. And I will sing a melody of the sweetest music I will make harmony. I will sing hallelujah to the Lord of Lords With the choirs of angels I will sing forevermore I will sing forevermore In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit Amen The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord Jesus, we thank and praise you for inviting us to celebrate this Holy Mass. We surrender all our intentions and petitions. We lift you up all the requests of prayers from various people. And we ask your blessing upon each and everyone and their families. Your healing touch upon all those who are suffering from sicknesses. Your deliverance from all evil powers and difficulties. Your blessing upon our finance, our job, our life. Thanking you Lord for everything. For hearing our prayers. For accepting us as your children. Lord Jesus, many a times we fail to acknowledge your role in our life. And we went astray from you with our own desires and our own life. For all such moments, we ask your pardon and forgiveness. And asking for your mercy, we pray, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I, I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray for, for me, me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 3, verses 7 to 14. Brethren, know then that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, in you shall all the nations be blessed. So then, those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law and do them. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law. For the righteous shall live by faith, but the law is not of faith. Rather, the one who does them shall live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree, so that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles so that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response is, The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. The Lord, the Lord keeps, keeps his covenant, covenant ever, ever in, in mind. mind. I will praise the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who delight in them. Your response? The, the Lord, Lord keeps, keeps his covenant, covenant ever in, in mind. mind. Majestic and glorious his work. His justice stands firm forever. He has given us a memorial of his wonders. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Your response? The, the Lord, Lord keeps, keeps his covenant, covenant ever in mind. mind. He gives food to those who fear him keeps his covenant ever in mind. His mighty works he has shown to his people by giving them the heritage of nations. Your response? The, the Lord, Lord keeps his covenant, covenant in ever in mind. mind. Kindly stand for the acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah Praise the gospel over the earth Hallelujah Hallelujah, peace and justice bringing to birth. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out, says the Lord. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, raise the gospel over the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Peace and justice bringing to birth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 11, verses 15 to 26. At that time, when Jesus had cast out a demon, some of the people said, He cast out demons by Beelzebul, the prince of demons. 
while others, to test him, kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. And if Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebul. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, the kingdom of God has come upon you. When strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are safe. But when one stronger than him attacks and overcomes him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoil. Whoever is with me is against Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it passes through waterless places seeking rest, and finding none, it says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds the house swept and put in order, then it goes and brings seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and rule there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends, today we witness Jesus is casting out a demon, and which is called a mute demon. And the corresponding gospel passage of St. Matthew, chapter 12, 22, says it is not only mute, it is also blind. And while Jesus was casting out this demon, St. Luke's gospel, it tells us that there were three types of responses from the people. The first group, the crowd, they were amazed at this wonder, astonished and amazed about this wonder. A second group, a non-believer group, they were, they were asking more signs from heaven so that they may believe in Jesus. And the third group, the adversaries of Jesus, they are accepting that, yes, Jesus, you are powerful, but this power is from the devil. It is a demoniac power. And you are casting out demons with the help of Beelzebul, the head of the demons. And dear friends, these three responses, if we look at ourselves, we can also find many a times we may place ourselves in one of these three groups. We are wondering and amazing about the wonders and testimonies we hear. But just wondering and amazing about it, it will not help us unless and until we come closer to Jesus and believe in Jesus and trust in the Lord. Second, the non-believers, whatever the signs and whatever the wonders that is happening around them, they are not ready to believe and accept that Jesus is the Lord. And they always claim that, please convince me, convince me with more and more powerful miracles that I may believe. Such people, the hard-hearted people, it is impossible to make them to believe unless and until they have the real conversion. And the third group, the most vicious group, they are making the criticism and comments just to put down what is holy. And Jesus was responding to the third group 
the gospel passage we just heard now and here jesus was telling some things which are very very important in our life first and foremost jesus is affirming that there are demons and there are evil powers that cannot be denied very clearly the word of god is stating that yes there are demons there are evil powers evil possessions and it cannot be denied many of the people may say that it is something psychological disease or something etc no gospel is very clear about it then jesus is telling this demon is so powerful like a master of the house armed with all his armors he is so powerful he is so powerful and he is having his own house call just like the kingdom of god he is having his own kingdom he is having his own people there and it is very clear that by trusting in the demon or satan we cannot come out of the evil forces and powers because in the satanic kingdom if it is divided into one another then it cannot stand so it is impossible to please satan or the evil powers to get rid of this evil possessions then jesus says therefore there is only one force that can defend us and that they can emancipate us from this demonic demonic forces and this evil powers it is a powerful kingdom that is a heavenly kingdom so if i am not casting out demons in the name of belzebul then that is the guarantee that the powerful kingdom the kingdom of heaven is at hand it is at hand trust in god and god can liberate us from any kind of evil powers belief the demonic powers evil can affect in all the areas of our life the six areas of our life a body can be affected a mind can be affected our soul can be affected our family can be affected our financial background can be affected and we will be slaves to evil possessions today's gospel is telling about a person affected in his body some kind of deformities in the body blindness or mute unable to walk bent down so many cases in the bible so some of the physical deformities are due to evil attacks and evil powers only when we are approaching god and if we get god's power in us then we can come out of this physical deformities praise the lord hallelujah Our, the word of god is guaranteeing this so many examples in the bible people are come out from this kind of physical deformities then it can affect our mind the psychic many of the psychic problems and unwanted fears such a things may be because of this evil powers and evil forces and if we go with jesus if we surrender ourselves to jesus and his power the mighty power of the kingdom of god it will leave us praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah there will be mighty deliverance in the name of jesus the word of god is granting that also then it can affect our soul and the final part of this gospel passage it is said when an evil power is going out of a person and it will go through the waterless land in order to have a secure place if it is not to finding it will come back and when it is is that that person's heart is empty and prepared it will go and to bring seven more evil powers evil spirits and his condition will be worse and the bible scholar says these seven powers may be the capital vices gluttony lust envy sloth anger covetousness all these things the evilness will be filled in our heart and our soul so that we will be a slave to the 
evil the evil powers only when we are filled with the holy spirit only when we are filled with the holy spirit we can be relieved and we can come out of these powers this this demoniac attacks and the evil powers possessions so there is only one way come to the lord surrender at the feet of jesus and asking for blessing and as jesus said those who are not with me will be scattered and that person is against me meaning we cannot honor god and the world or the satanic power together we have to hold on only one either god or satan there is no one way no two ways there therefore to be with jesus be with jesus surrendering at the, at his feet and asking for his blessing then it is a surety for us that we will be relieved from all these six areas of our life and our family will be blessed our financial condition will be blessed our body will be blessed our mind will be blessed and we will be relieved from all the evil possessions and powers praise the lord praise hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus praise hallelujah praise dear friends once again let us surrender all our sicknesses at the feet of jesus all our financial problems at the feet of jesus all our family problems at the feet of jesus and asking god come to us lord bless us lord as you are going to transform this bread and wine into your body and blood transform our petitions intentions and prayers our families and our lives amen We offer you this bread We offer you this wine We offer you our hearts We offer you our lives We give each thing to you Each moment passing through We offer you the record of our creation Christ to goodness we have this bread and wine for the earth and work of human hands to become the bread of life bless be God we forever offer and you this bread and wine we offer you our eyes we offer you our hands we offer for you are dream your will is your command the reason the story lord god of our creation that so good as we have this white to offer is to love the white sons of the human kind to be our spiritual drink bless be god we forever amen for Amin. you this bread and wine we offer you Pray brethren that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God the almighty father may, may the lord, lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church accept o lord we pray the sacrifice is instituted by you are dim commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let's give thanks to the lord our god it, it is, is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father most holy through your beloved son jesus christ your word 
through whom you made all things, whom you sent us as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and indeed willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter Machado, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the 
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I live with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on, on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Jesus, I, I believe that you are present in the, in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated, separated from, from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We gather here in Jesus' name We can worship Jesus our King With our hearts full with joy Let us love and praise the Lord We have gathered here in Jesus' name As we worship Jesus our King With our hearts full with joy let us love and praise the Lord Praise the Father, praise the Son 
Praise the Spirit, three in one. Praise the Father, praise the Son. Praise the Spirit, three in one. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. All you people of the earth worship Him. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. All you people of the earth worship Him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come into this place as we gather in Jesus' name with our hearts filled with joy. Holy Spirit, touch our love. Let's all raise our hands as we welcome Jesus. Let's all raise our hands. Let's worship and glorify God. Hallelujah. 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 Holy Spirit, come into this place as we gather in Jesus' name with our hearts full of joy. Holy Spirit, touch our life. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one. Praise the Father, praise the Son. Praise the Spirit, three and one. Let us come together, praise the name of Jesus. All the people of the earth worship Him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let us lift up our both hands and looking to Jesus. Thank the Lord for all fervors that we have received, healing that we have received through the Holy Mass. Jesus has come to our life through our spiritual communion. Thank the Lord and praise the Lord for His eternal presence in this world and within us. Thank you and praise you Jesus for your wonderful presence in our life. Through your presence, we are healed, we are saved, we are forgiven, we are freed from the dominion of the devil. Let us say three times loudly, Hallelujah! 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 All glory and honor to Jesus for all the healings and deliverance He has given to us and yet to give. Amber, one person's name is called my name and Jesus healed all your skin complaint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, you, Jesus. praise you, Jesus. Let us lifting up our hands and sing together. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise, we praise you. We praise you, Hallelujah. I show love, 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 Hallelujah. I Praise the Lord. Now the Spirit is moving all over the world. Let us sing Spirit moves all over the world. Spirit moves. Spirit all over the world. Then Spirit moves in your house. Spirit moves in your nation. Spirit moves all over the world. All of you may sit very comfortably and look to Jesus. This is the time of healing. The healing belongs to the wounds of Jesus. 
he was broken for our healing and forgiven us of sins through his blood shed his blood is forgiven us of sins and his resurrection that is for our new life and infilling of the holy spirit right now by the wounds of jesus you are going to be healed and your sins are forgiven and also when you look to jesus by the power of his resurrection you and i going to be anointed in a fresh way new anointing comes to us place your hand where you have a sickness in the name of jesus i bind and cast out the spirit of infirmity from your body right now lord touch them and heal them somebody's tumor being vanished right now people who are tested covid 19 going to be tested negative right now your organ failure is going to be rectified somebody's nerve paralysis is being healed and nerve damage is being healed right now in the name of jesus i pray over your heart let your heart be healed right now all those who have complaints in their lungs let their lungs be healed in the name of jesus julie and paul you are healed of your breathing complaint the lord has healed you joseph Lord has blessed you some dust allergy and the Lord calls one person's name Lawrence you are being healed of your heavy headache hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you keep jesus. on placing your hand where you have a sickness the lord is healing you right now somebody's heaviness of the head is being healed somebody's allergies are being removed from the body right now food allergy dust allergy medicine allergy and all your allergies are being taken away right now hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of jesus i pray that people who are been suffering people who have been suffering a tumor brain tumor let them be healed people who are suffering from barrenness let them be healed right now people who cannot walk but they are better than in the name of jesus i command you get out of your sick bed and start walking we walk in the name of jesus Jesus walked on the water and he asked Peter to walk and he did it by faith and by courage and we and without doubt you will walk even on the water hallelujah hallelujah In the name of Jesus i pray over your skin disease and your psoriasis be healed all those who have excessive hair fall let them be healed right now all those who are blind mute and deaf let them receive healing right now In the name of Jesus I pray over all those who are suffering of autism all those who are suffering of OCD all those who have hyperactivity let them be healed right now Natasha Rudy Alfred and Amelie Lord heals you and the Lord heals your problems of your hyperactive nature or your autism be healed right now the lord is blessing you right now hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank, you, thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you, rosa jesus. the lord has healed you and all financial problems are being removed right now problems connected with your career problems connected with your finances connected with your house construction that is all gone the lord is blessing you financially right now In the name of Jesus I pray that the Lord may heal your headache your migraine headache the Lord may heal your urinary incontinence right now keep on placing your hand where you have the sickness and just pray heal or heal me savior save me Lord touch them now and heal them now in Jesus name I pray let your asthma be healed all those who are on wheelchair suffering of arthritis let them be healed in the name of jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus you are my strength my rock savior make me whole somebody's kidney failure is being healed right now The Lord says Bosco your kidney complaint is being healed and Alicia your problems in the bladder is being healed right now hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Lemos the Lord has blessed you right now and touch you and heal you. All types of tumor is being vanished right now. In the name of Jesus I bind and cast out the spirit of infirmity from your body. The Lord may set you free from sinful addictions. Set you free from pornography. Set you free from sexual addictions. The Lord may set you free from dominion of the devil. If the son of man has set you free indeed you are freed the lord may set you free from the spirit of sin right now all those who are fear lift up your hand all those who have anxiety lift up your hand all those who have mental diseases lift up your hand all those who have suicidal tendency lift up your hand right now look to jesus where you place your hand the lord has already healed you right now you are lifting up your hands for a healing of emotional disturbances and of inner wounds they are going to be healed there are some people who are just freed from spirit of anxiety the lord says francisca you are set free from your anxiety in the name of jesus i set you free right now all types of phobia let the people be healed of acrophobia some people cannot use flight because of their phobia the lord heals six people are set free right now from claustrophobia 11 persons are set free from stage fear some children who cannot face their teacher and elders they are set free right now somebody cannot speak that person's speech ability is returned right now ye fata let your tongue be opened in the name of jesus i pray now we keep our hands down and kneel down for deliverance the lord is going to deliver you psalm 38 says deliverance belongs to the lord and surely he will deliver you by the blood of jesus the demons are going to be bound at the feet of jesus lift up your hands kneeling down lifting up your hands for deliverance let us see the blood of jesus hallelujah i show lo hopalla rasali i show lo hopalla la how much you are the lord the blood of jesus cleanses me he paid the price and set me free to all i go want them to know The blood of Jesus cleanses me. The blood of Jesus cleanses me. He paid the price and set me free. The blood of Jesus cleanses me. He paid the price and set me free. Do all I go. As we kneel down and lifting up our hands, just repeat Jesus Jesus deliver me deliver me from all spell and curse from all spell and curse make me free make me free from all negative spirits from all negative spirits make me free lord make me free lord from all spell from all spell curse, curse bondage, bondage dominion, dominion and affliction and affliction of the evil one of the evil one jesus, jesus set me free set me from free from the spirit of black magic from the spirit of black sorcery, magic, sorcery witchcraft witchcraft hallelujah hallelujah jesus, jesus set me free set me free from all types of curses from all types of curses hallelujah, hallelujah. i am set free I am, I am set, set free. free by the power of Jesus by the power, the power of, of Jesus. Jesus now just transfix your hands on your chest and look to Jesus all of you just repeat in the name of Jesus i bind you and cast you out in the name of Jesus i bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of gambling and addictions in the name of Jesus i bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of substance abuse in the name of Jesus i bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of continuous infirmities in the name of Jesus i bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of insomnia 
in the name of Jesus I bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of disturbances in the name of Jesus I bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of blocks and bondages in the name of Jesus I bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of lust and anger in the name of Jesus I bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of unforgiveness in the name of Jesus I bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of suicidal tendency in the, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus I bind you and cast you out all bad spirit of financial bondages in, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus I bind you and cast you out in the name of Jesus I bind and cast out all spell and curses from you send them to the feet of Jesus in the name of Jesus I set you free from all types of bondages amen amen in the name of Jesus I bless your field I bless your house bless your vehicle bless all our objects and electronic gadgets let everything be freed from the dominion of the devil amen amen now we all stand up in the name of Jesus for receiving fresh anointing and outpouring of the holy spirit just recollect The episode happened in Acts chapter 8. Philip went there and he preached the word of God. He introduced to Jesus Christ, but Jesus was not there physically. But he preached what Jesus did, what Jesus is doing now in your life, and he announced the healings and deliverance and miracles. They all have seen deliverance and healings and uh, Peter and John went there and laid their hands people received even charismatic gifts and praying in tongues seeing in vision so all these three events going to happen in your house where you are standing up right now and in five continents and which nation you are standing up there that nation is going to be blessed right now so we all lift up our hands all those who are from africa please lift up your hands in the name of jesus i pray over all brothers and sisters right now in africa you may receive wonderful anointing of the holy spirit right now let the holy spirit possess your continent and the lord may bind and cast out all negative spirits from this continent and put under the feet of jesus amen, amen. now keep your hands down and all of all of you are standing up right now and all those who are from america lift up your hands south america and north america and all the nations therein in the name of jesus i pray over this continent right now all brothers and sisters lift up their hands right now receive the holy spirit let all the nations in america north america and south america be anointed by the power of the holy spirit and all of them receive messianic blessings charismatic gifts ministry gifts motivation gifts and isaiah and gifts let the spirit move over that continent right now in a distance i pray amen, amen. keep your hands down then all those who are from Europe lift up your hands all the european nations are going to be filled with the holy spirit right now let the spirit move all over the world and spirit is moving all over the world in the name of jesus i pray over europe let the spirit move from one end to another let all brothers and sisters there be anointed right now by the power of the holy spirit all motivation gifts be multiplied all types of gifts or five categories of gifts be multiplied right now in jesus name and deliverance may happen anointing may happen right now healing also be happened amen all those who are from asia please lift up your both hands in the name of jesus i pray over all asian nations and all those who are from asia lord send your holy spirit upon them let all of them receive five categories of gifts right now and let there be wonderful anointing take place in this continent right now amen now all people from australia lift up your hand in the name of jesus i pray over australia right now let the spirit move from one house to another and all over the uh, the continent let every one be freed from all negative spirits and be anointed by the power of the holy spirit right now 
Now people from all five continents lift up your hands and pray for powerful anointing hallelujah, hallelujah. let us pray together jesus jesus jesus, jesus. jesus. baptize us baptize us with the fire and the spirit with fire and spirit all of you may lift up your hands and pray in tongues right now your house is being blessed nation being redeemed hallelujah let us sing together welcome holy spirit to our respective places houses continent nations welcome holy spirit welcome holy spirit we are in your presence fill us with your power fill the lord let us join the lord with your power and grace in jesus name i pray welcome hallelujah shola bala shola bala hare shola bala bala all of you may say i have received it in the name of jesus i have received it in the name of jesus receive seven isaiah and gifts i have received it in the name of jesus receive five messianic gifts i have received it in the name of jesus receive motivation gifts and roman gifts i have received it in the name of jesus receive ministry gifts i have received it in the name of jesus receive charismatic gifts i have received it in the name receive of the jesus. ability to bear fruits i have received it in the name of jesus receive the ability to witness christ jesus i have received it in the name of jesus receive the gift of a holy life i have received it in the name of jesus receive the gift of sinless life i have received it in the name of jesus receive the gift of binding and casting out evil spirit i have received it in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah now all of you may sit down very comfortably and looking to Jesus when we prayed for healing healing happened when we prayed for deliverance deliverance happened when we prayed for anointing anointing also happened so every day we have our healing prayers deliverance prayers anointing prayers right now the lord gives wonderful word of knowledge and messages incurable diseases there are people who have incurable diseases in their body they know that never they will be healed but the lord says george will be daniel william leo and leonard you all have incurable diseases in your body but the lord says it is curable in my presence and also mighty anointing happened on a person franklin you are called by name and receive mighty anointing now many are receiving powerful anointing especially patrick bina rani and romula you are getting wonderful wonderful anointing of the holy spirit and gift of healing that the lord has given to you amen, amen. and financial blessing is being given to many people who have no house they are getting houses right now and also a garden around it and also your house construction is going to be completed very soon and your career is being blessed finances being improved and your um, uh, place of work is going to be blessed especially jetrude and um, glenta and also bridget they all are getting wonderful blessings in the finances and the career hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank, you, thank you jesus the family is being set free from the dominion of the devil and family is going to be blessed in a wonderful way lira martin and linda and lydia your family is going to become a domestic church and going the part of 
heaven on earth amen. amen now i pray our families as you sit comfortably and look into jesus in the name of jesus i pray all families who are looking to jesus let your assisting partner become the best partner right now all those who are looking for partnership in the marriage and looking for a person to marry and also looking for a partner to have a sacramental marriage the lord provides it the lord may provide you the partner according to, according to genesis chapter 2 verse 18 i will give you a partner the lord may open your eyes so that you may see where is your partner in jesus name i pray and i bless the families right now receive peace fellowship joy spirit of prayer and spirit of forgiveness in your family amen amen wonderful wonderful blessing is shared by the lord in your family and he says today this family is healed there are people who filed divorces 18 people who have filed divorce cases the lord says it will not work out and you will live together with one heart one mind one spirit one god one worship that is family healing that family healing taken place financial healing right now taking place you are earnings and you are spending and you are keeping is not affecting your eternal life then you are financially blessed and also you have enough and more for yourself and for all the good work that is called a financial blessing hallelujah somebody having heart attack and lot of complications right now the lord says your heart attack problems that problems after effect of the heart attack is being gone and the lord heals your heart right now somebody is having a problem of excessive drinking the lord gives you the power to stop it you are no more interested in in drinking and the lord sets free some people and jean and jane and also abel they all are set free from some kind of addiction to the substance praise the lord praise right now many are being set free from the substance abuse addictions and for whom you pray right now they are also set free amen, amen. and the somebody is walking difficulty a person named priya you have some walking difficulty the lord heals you right now amen, amen. thank you jesus thank you, and also your asthma is being healed right now thank the lord for all these wonderful blessings that he have given to us now let us offer thanksgiving prayers let us pray together thank you jesus thank you jesus for all healings and blessings for all healings and blessings thank you jesus thank you jesus for the powerful anointing you have given us for the powerful anointing you have given us hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus right now somebody praying for finding the documents and jewelry and some valuables misplaced or being lost you are praying to get it back right now 33 people getting back their lost documents ornaments and precious things praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord thank you jesus thank you jesus somebody so still process is being healed and um, antonite osteo process is being healed now we have time for blessing the objects <coughs> in the name of jesus i bless this salt let the salt be blessed right now let it be a source so healing of incurable diseases psoriasis be healed breathing complaint be healed wherever this salt or food items that i bless right now being used may get freedom from lifestyle diseases amen. amen now we all lift up our hands and praising and thanking god let us praise and thank god now hallelujah 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 jesus we give you all glory and honor abba father we thank you holy spirit we worship we glorify you We thank you Lord for all the healings all the deliverances and we give you all glory and honor our so father we praise you we thank you thank holy you, spirit we worship we glorify in the name of jesus i bless this water let this water be blessed right now let it become the water in siloam 
and also in river jordan and also in bethsaida all those who are online right now let them experience something like happened in bethsaida lord bless this water and turn it like baptismal water wherever it is sprinkled that place be redeemed from the dominion of the devil whoever uses it may get freedom from sickness and freedom from dominion of the devil freedom from the dominion of demons and devil amen amen in the name of jesus i bless this oil let this oil get the power to heal the sick and to have the reenactment of all the gifts charismatic gifts and also gifts of the holy spirit in jesus name i bless this oil amen in the name of jesus i bless all the pious articles candles holy books icons cross crucifix let everything be blessed right now wherever it is used that place be redeemed whoever uses it may get a healing and deliverance in jesus name i bless all these objects right now i bless your vehicle your water sources i bless your house and doors of the house and compound and also your workplace and your factory in jesus name i bless it by the sign of the cross amen amen thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus now we seek the intercession of blessed virgin mary always she is interceding for us when we seek her intercession more power will be released and she is always interceding for the whole universe mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions please pray for the success of logos ministries at least 10 times or more times for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion of the father have mercy on us and on the whole world and on logos ministry for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion of the father have mercy on us and on the whole world and on logos ministry for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion of the father have mercy on us and on the whole world and on logos ministry let us make the sign of the cross on our body to sanctify our body your body is precious and holy and god doesn't want to see you in great suffering jesus suffered and god asked jesus to suffer so that you should not suffer or i should not suffer that is the catechism book of the magisterial teaching says in you cat 66 God doesn't ask anyone to suffer in this world except to he to his son to suffer and by his wounds God has a plan to heal all your diseases so when you make the sign of the cross you are being redeemed from diseases and sickness and problems and dominion of the devil by the sign of the cross by the suffering of Jesus because god asked jesus to suffer for us so when we make the sign of the cross we claim it that jesus already healed me i believe it and i take it for myself by the sign of the cross deliver us lord from all our enemies save us lord you are our god in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. amen. today's homework the same gospel passage please read Luke chapter 21 we will get a wonderful spirit of prayer wonderful deliverance and also freedom from all evil attack and black magic and sorcery and uh, Jesus really being with us always when we keep the word of God in our heart five things please remember always to get wonderful blessings five things take time to listen to the word of god all those who are online right now i pray over them right now let them receive wonderful blessing all those who are going to be online any time let them also receive wonderful blessing then and there and all those who have placed their intentions in the chat box be blessed right now amen, amen. so the first step of our blessing readiness to listen to the word of god second step just be the doer of the word of god third step love jesus christ and his kingdom or his people that's the entire humanity 
ask he loud fourth just have faith in jesus in the ability of jesus believe that jesus can do it for you and for me then the last part ask in your prayer room go to your prayer room after the session sit there and in long hours or as much as you want or how much time do you have look to jesus and see his face and ask to him you will receive these are the five things that we have to do always without forgetting our daily prayers nine types of prayers and the homework thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah jesus is lord now and forever now and forever jesus is god lord. is good all the time, all the time. God is good. jesus is great always and forever now and forever jesus, jesus is great god. hallelujah hallelujah now and forever jesus, jesus is lord, lord. Jesus is Lord now, now, and now and forever. God is good all the time. All the time. God, God is good. good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, When Jesus. we say Jesus is Lord now and forever, somebody's problem in the chest area and to some kind of keloid formation there is being disappeared. And also breathing trouble is being healed and freed from breathing trouble. Now we all kneel down, look into Jesus and receive the final blessing. and if you have a testimony you may send it to us we have uh, received number of testimonies we are not able to read it and finish it but still we keep it in our archives please send it and we take testimonies from five continents and selected testimonies only that we read but you are free to send all your testimonies so kneeling down and looking to jesus glorify him through your testimony that is mark chapter 5 verse 20 go to your place and share your testimony what the lord has given to you so share your testimony to the whole world so that people may know that what jesus has already done for you that is mark chapter 5 verse 20 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise so jesus. send your testimony to this email id frjoicvet@gmail.com and to your prayer intentions also for our intercession send to the same email id and if you have mass intentions love offering and tithe please use the bank details that we have given there and um, inform me through logosblr@gmail.com in my office email id and also if you are from overseas you can use the same bank detail that same name and send a check or you contact through this email id the office people will contact you and give you the details how to do and what to do next to have overseas mass intentions and also love offering and tithe please contact this email id the office persons will contact you and give you directions otherwise you issue the check and in the, in the same bank name log uh, bin session ashram trust and send it and inform me through this logosblr@gmail.com join our hands in prayer and worship keep your special intention right now that intention is going to be fulfilled in the name of jesus i pray over this special intention that you have let it be blessed right now let the lord give you a good career let the lord give you a wonderful family let the lord give you freedom from all dominion of the devil let the holy spirit descend upon you and guide you hereafter and the lord may heal all your ailments amen, amen. all your special intentions right now what do you offer being answered Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise.
days and all times giving be every moment Mama Maria beseech your son Jesus Christ for the fulfillment of all our intentions all our intentions Mama Maria beseech your son Jesus Christ for the fulfillment of all our intentions oh